Hey there, this is Derek Murphy of creativity.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D book cover that you can embed in your website. And it has this cool little mouse over effect. So this is 3dbook.xyz. It's a new tool that I picked up. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a book. I've already started one. You can do one book for free and you can upgrade if you want to have a bunch of covers. I'll probably use this on some of my book websites and just redo all of the book covers because it just looks a little bit cooler. So I just grabbed this image. That's a preview of how it's going to look. I can actually customize the 3D settings. So one of the reasons that this tool is different from my main one that you probably have already used before um, is that I can customize the settings. So for example, if I wanted a children's book or an activity book or something that was square or thin, um, that's something that I could adjust because I can really get in here and play with all of the um, settings until I've got something that is just how I want it. The only thing it doesn't do very well is paperback versus hardcover. These are all sort of hardcover-ish looking, um, but this could pass for a paperback too. And I could, I think the hard but hardback is just because it has more space around the trim, um, but I can change the pages offset. Anyway, if I wanted to add, if I wanted to change the height for a square cover or the width, whoops, that's the wrong one, or the thickness, and even if I wanted like the perspective. Anyway, there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. It's a really fun tool to play with, which is why I want to um, share it with you. I would recommend not hitting save until you've already customized things um, and played around with it. Otherwise, it can get kind of tricky to get back to the default. But once you've saved, it just says down here, embed your book cover. So you've got to add this script code into your website. That way, all the cool coding that makes the tool work is hosted on my platforms. Um, I own this tool now, so it's completely secure. We don't share or keep any of the information. Also, I forgot to add, you can add the URL for your link, so you could send this straight to um, your Amazon page or Universal Book Link, or I think you could even add Amazon code in here, and it would let you do it. But anyway, I'm going to copy this code down here and go up to my book, my fiction book website. So it depends a bit about which kind of WordPress you are using. I'm just going to go to add a new post. If you're not using WordPress, there should be a way to edit the code or the HTML view of your website. Uh, I'm just going to do a sample post. You can't use this for the featured image because that will just allow a JPEG. Uh, but you can embed the HTML. So what you don't want to do is just copy paste the script there because this um, is code. And to get code, you have to probably go into here, HTML, custom HTML. I think that's the right way to do it. It should let you preview it. And then that will let you know that it's working or not. So I can see that it is working. So if I publish this, then this 3D tool will already be working. Um, you might be asking, how do I make a, a JPEG to just download? So I'm going to show you that also. In previous versions of WordPress, you could just go up to the code view versus the text view. Uh, and that's not quite what the latest version does. I can also click over here on HTML and click on code to make sure I'm, I'm looking at the code. Uh, the, the most version, the most latest version of WordPress has blocks. Uh, I think it's Gutenberg, but I'm, I might be behind. I haven't updated all my blogs in a while. It used to be easier to just go up here and go to code, uh, code view versus regular view. So you might be seeing that over here somewhere. So this is the post that I just put up on my website. It looks like this. Nothing really fancy. If you click on it, it goes straight to the Amazon page, which I'm not sure if you can see in this video because I opened up a new tab. So you might want to use it for your, your book pages or your library pages. 
So that's what this new tool looks like. I think it's pretty fun. Um, if you want, you can upgrade to use it on unlimited covers. If you're on my email list on creativity.com, I just sent out some really good uh, promo offers to get this free or much, much cheaper. If you wanted to just make a 3D cover, you could take a screenshot um, of this. So it's if you wanted to like strip out the background and add a different background, that would be tricky because it's got this shadow effect. Um, but you could take a screenshot of any angle or any book size, and it would look pretty good on your website. Um, however, let me show you the main one if you haven't used it before. This is kind of a new tool that's sort of just for fun. Um, but if you go down here, you can find the link to DIY book covers, which is my main site. Uh, and I'm going to copy it back here just in case you can't see that link in the new window. So this is my original book cover tool that's one of the most popular on the internet. I see people using this one all the time. Um, so all you have to do is pick the image you want. There's also a bunch of cool composite images. And you can save these as JPEG or PNG. If you save them as PNG, it'll have a transparent background. So let's try one of these out. I'll just grab one of those and then go to Next. Uh, this actually lets me upload the cover. I think the first one's for the cover and the second one's for the spine. So you have to go to Browse and then Upload. Um, and I'm actually just going to use the front cover for the spine as well because I don't really think you can see the spine, the spine um, very clearly. Let me see what that looks like if I go down. So you have to click Browse, Browse, Upload both of these, um, and then you have to go to Next. It's a little even. I haven't used my own tool in a long time, so um, finding your way through it takes a little bit of practice. Um, it looks like I didn't use high-res images, but that shouldn't really matter. Down here now I've got buttons for JPEG and PNG. So when I click the PNG button, it'll automatically download to your Downloads folder, um, and it should pop up for me as well. Uh, and I'm just realizing that you probably can't see the pop-up because I'm recording this screen, uh, which was a mistake on my part. But uh, I can tell you whoops, that it looks exactly like the one I chose. It just has my book cover image on it. Uh, when you download it as a PNG, the background's going to look black probably, but that just is because um, it, there's no picture there. It's transparent. If you put it on a white background, it'll look white. Um, but the value of some of these pictures is that you can put them in your promo marketing material with another online des design tool like uh, Canva, for example. You can upload the picture and then add a background and add text for a promo or whatever kind of message uh, that you want. And I actually have a brand new tool that is going to allow you to do all that stuff on the internet. It's kind of like Photoshop. It'll be free, but it'll be online. Um, and I'm excited about that. I can't show it to you in this video because, as I just realized, this uh, video is only for this particular internet tab. So it's tricky to share anything on my desktop. But currently, even if you use these images, you'd have to use some other third party tool uh, in order to add a background and add text. But now on DIY Book Design, um, I think I still have links to the old one. I'm going to have to re redesign this entire site. Um, but down here, I've actually tried to make this tool in the past for like the last five to seven years. I've had different versions of it. Um, it was based on Flash a couple of years ago, and then Flash crashed. So I've redone it all, um, and it's pretty amazing. But when I finish it, I'll upload a link here, and then I'll have um, I'll have a link to it with with pictures of what you can make probably on this page. Like I already linked to the new book cover tool, so probably down here I'll link to um, social media graphic packages that you could buy for every genre. And that way you can not only make your 3D tools here, but you could also make really cool social media promotional graphics. Anyway, so that's a few different options if you want to make a 3D cover. Uh, this one is for making images that you can share online, and soon it will have the ability to add a background and to add text, which is cooler because then you won't need multiple different tools. But the new tool is also uh, really neat looking and stands out. So feel free to use uh, that one and subscribe to my email list if you want to try to get a, um, a Black Friday discount deal. Those are probably all 
I think I had like two or 300 of them and they, they went really, really fast, but I'll probably do more of those free offers um, pretty soon for people who are on my email list. That's it. Uh, I'll leave the links to the tools down below. Let me know if you found any other 3D book mocker mock-up making tools uh, that I can share. Bye-bye.